Hello everyone, welcome to part 164 of Advanced Ecom Series in Laravel 8. So we are going to continue working on the Pay You Money uh, API, and uh, in this video we are going to set the cron job for our Pay You Money API. Uh, so in last video we have seen that we able to update the status for any order after comparing the same with the Pay You Money get, uh, Gateway. Okay, so now we will set the api uh, that will run after every some time to check whether the status uh, payment status is matching with the pay you money and and if it is not matching then we are going to update at the website end okay we will not update at the pay you money end but we will update the status at the website end see this is the thing that i have explained you in last video in transaction status api with transaction status api we will get the exact payment status from pay you money payment gateway and update the same at website and like if the pay you money status is paid website status is pending then we are going to update to website paid okay so if the status pay, pay you money status is fail the website status is paid then we are going to update the status to fail again okay at the website end so we will update the website status according to the pay you money so uh, so this one we have done like you can see this status is cancelled uh, at our website end and maybe the status is paid for these order at pay you money and and that pay pay you money uh, api will verify for these three orders okay so we are going to test this and one thing i have done see this is the pay you money uh, api that we have done in last video uh, for verifying the transactions and here i have added one more condition here you can see uh, i have added this cancel condition okay so payment cancel and one more condition is there cancel so if the uh, if the transaction is uh, captured at the pay you money and uh, and payment cancelled or cancelled or pay, pay, pay uh, payment fail or new or pending at website and then we are going to update to paid okay so if the uh, status is paid at the website and and cancel at the pay money and then we are going to update to cancelled only okay so uh, let's see now i'm going to run the api manually this is the api pay you money slash verify to check all the orders i'm going to run it manually first of all and we'll check whether it updates the status see it updates all the three orders to paid so its status is paid at the pay you money end okay so that's why it updates all the three orders to paid okay so our api is working fine and now uh, we can set it as cron job uh, so that it will run automatically after every some time it keeps on checking and it will run so that the user uh, will not uh, uh, frustrate like uh, his payment uh, is directed from the bank but uh, not showing the status exactly status at the website end okay so once again i am going to convert uh, the status to cancelled uh, let me update the status to cancelled for one of the order i can update the status to cancel and then uh, we are going to set this api see there is one website uh, cronjob.org we are going to set uh, this cronjob api in this website for the basic e-commerce series as well we have set here in this website and for advanced series as well this is the uh, free website and you can set your cron jobs here okay so here you can see i have updated uh, the order to cancel uh, so that we can verify with the api after uh, running it automatically with cron job okay uh, so i also want to tell you that what cron job exactly is cron job is the linux command that is used for scheduling tasks to be executed sometime in the future okay so uh, from time to time uh, our APIs will run automatically we no need to do anything they will run automatically okay so this is the website here you can um, uh, create your account okay simply create your account here by signing up and you can create your account here but i am already having the account so i can set my APIs here like uh, i am having the already api at stackdeveloper.xyz this is the basic e-commerce series so its api is already running so i am going to add the new api now okay so new cron job i am going to add see this is the previous cron job i have added for basic e-commerce series now i am going to add for 
advanced e-commerce series okay so here i will write pay you money transaction status api and i will enter this url that we are manually running this is the api url okay we will give here so i want to run every two minutes for now because i want to test the api right now so i will run every two minutes right now after that i will update this time okay so uh, this one is not required so i can create job okay let's create it okay so i have set it so it must run after every two minutes so it will run automatically update i will go back to orders see the status is cancelled right now i will keep refreshing it and it will automatically update to paid after two minutes okay so let's see if it will automatically update or not okay so i have set it see my local time is 8 28 pm so it's 8 30 pm okay so uh, it will in two minutes it will run automatically so this is the benefit of uh, uh, cron jobs this we call the cron jobs okay so cron jobs help us to execute the apis automatically so so that our task uh, will automatically run okay so we need need for wait for some time So I have made uh, this uh, uh, code online for the API because I can't run offline link here. Okay, I can't set offline link here. So I need to make it online at uh, stackdevelopers.in. Complete uh, advanced e-commerce website. Uh, I am making it online here. And if you don't know how to make the website online, then go back to the series and you can watch earlier also we have made we have uploaded the changes online with ftp with file manager okay and also we have updated the database as well okay so you will learn how to do that okay so right now i have some time back i have just made the changes in file manager you can see file manager is here so i just edit the file and have added some of the more condition like i have told you that i have added the cancelled uh, this condition uh see payment cancel is there i have added the cancel condition as well and here i have updated it to cancel so you uh, must know that how to you see time is now 8 30 pm now i will refresh this one and we'll see it automatically updates to paid or not still it's not updated but we will check keep refreshing it see it must automatically update to paid no still not updated keep on refreshing still not updated no still it is not updating still it is not updating let's see still it is not updating it must update uh, time is running out api time uh, we must check here it will tell in history as well last execution time it will write the last execution time when it will run and see now the last execution time is successful it runs here it is showing the time now i will refresh here for the one. no but uh, it not updated but it is showing uh, that so no not this api this this one sorry this one this one is failed okay we need to check why uh, it is failed stack developers dot in pay you money verify uh, it fails uh, we need to check once okay so uh, reason for fail is uh, because uh, this one we need to move outside okay so that's why it's failed it is inside the auth okay so apis must be outside if you want to run the cron job for that you need to make it outside like this okay so outside of auth okay so i keep it outside of auth now it must work but uh, i need to make this file 
I need to make this change uh, online uh, okay so I will make this change online that's why I open this file manager because I know that I may require to make changes online okay so I will go in routes in web edit okay so I will uh, cut from here and will paste it outside this one here then I am going to save like this okay so now it's done this is to fail to create okay because uh, we don't have the permissions that's why no issue we will make it chain permission uh, we will give the right permission here we can give the permission like this one second now we can change permission and now we can save it once again system failed to create the file uh, because following on permission still it is not uh, okay no issue uh, we can close it we can change permission to 777 change permission and we'll uh, edit the file once again and uh, i will cut from here and we'll move it outside the auth so that we can able to run it now uh, we'll save once again uh, it means uh, that there is there are more permission that we require change permission here as well okay so now we need to save now it is fine okay so now uh, we can try once again and uh, now we can refresh here see it is cancelled fine uh, so now uh, we need to move back and cancel here okay so uh, now next execution i'm going to edit it uh, i want next execution to happen uh, every two minute okay so i'm going to save it so the next execution is uh, this one sorry this one it will be today uh, 8 34 it already done now next execution is 8 36 okay so after one minute okay so after one minute it must uh, uh, run automatically and this time no issue must come because we have moved the uh, our uh, api outside api route outside of the auth earlier on it is inside of the auth so uh, user need to log in first so we must keep it outside the auth okay so now uh, we will uh, check once again so we will wait see right now it's cancelled and now after few seconds it must update to paid automatically uh, when the cron job will run okay so now it is 8 36 pm so i'm going to refresh and you can see that it automatically converted to paid and now i will check there it must run now this time successful must come here and here uh, everything must be fine and you can see it has run okay you can see successful here so our api is running fine our cron job has set and it's running fine okay and now we can able to update back to 30 minutes uh why to make it too much load don't make too much load on the server uh okay so we can set it 30 minutes or we can even set our apis uh, uh we can give more time like more than 30 minutes every day or we can give this time like every day uh, just uh, one time you want to run the api uh, and you want to run uh, like every day at uh, at 2 pm like 2 uh, or you if you want to uh, run at 6 pm then we will give like 18 okay like this we can able to give uh like i will save it okay and for this one as well 
uh, we can uh, simply keep for every day one time okay and, and this is the another one that every month uh, how many times two times three times so there are many options available so i will do every day one time and i want to run uh, every day at sorry every day at uh, i want to run around evening uh, 8 pm okay i want i will run at 8 pm every day at one time okay so i'm going to save so i will not make too much load at the server as this is for the testing purpose only but actually for your live website you need to run every half an hour because the user will not wait for that much time if his payment has been made uh, if the amount has been directed from his account uh, so the user will not wait and you have to give at least half an hour so that after every half an hour the status will update and the user will get intimated okay so this is the cron job uh, you need to set the cron job for every purpose you can set it live like this you can, you can set it online okay uh, so the, at this website you can set free of cost and all these apis like uh, for paypal for pay you money and for other payment gets, gateways you can set the apis like this okay and for other purposes as well so i hope that this is very much clear to you we will uh, do now different thing in next video uh, so pay you money is over now and if you have any trouble you can surely contact me so that's all for now have a nice time goodbye